All right, so what we're going to re review here is the new CMC patient tie-in system. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, where it's going to be in a and how to use it, how to clean it, uh, how to inspect it, uh, and then how to put somebody in it. Uh, we'll also send out the CMC version of it that uh, has all the details of how to apply it to a litter. Uh, so let's uh, come in and scoot forward here and let's take a look at the different parts. Uh, so you've got a uh, red webbing side and a blue webbing side. Uh, I anticipate as they're carried on trucks, uh, they're going to be clipped up and cinched up. I've just uh, tidied up the ends of the webbing here so that they wouldn't be flapping loose in the wind. Uh, in the very beginning, you'll have to loosen these up to give yourself some room to package. Once you've got some slack, you can come in. Go ahead and open the agent and help me undo these. We're just going to move the red to one side and the blue to one side. You want to make sure that the straps with the little buckles on them and the pads, that you pull these out of the litter before you put somebody in. Otherwise, you've got to move the patient to get them out. Uh, the, uh, let's go ahead and get our patient to come on in. So whatever patient packaging device you're going to use prior to putting them in the litter, whether it's a backboard, uh, an OSS, a spec pack, uh, or any sort of uh, rigid uh, spinal immobilization system, uh, the vacuum mattress, uh, you'll just use that and put it into the litter. Uh, so in this case, we've got our uh, rigid green board. Uh, we'll just uh, have our helpful patient here lay down onto the back board. And then we're just going to use whatever that implement is, in this case, the green backboard, uh, to package the patient just like you normally would in that device. Once, that, once he's packaged in that device, you can move him around, get him placed in the litter. Uh, then it's as simple as blue to blue and red to red. So we'll start blue. Uh, we're going to bring blue to blue, clip it in. Once it's clipped in, cinch it up. Agent's going to work the webbing down from the top down to the feet where the cinching buckle is. Once it's good and snug, just tuck your webbing out of the way. And we're going to go red to red. Gonna work those out, bring them over to the, buck, the hooks. Once that's in, you'll work it down as I sense the webbing. But trying to keep the webbing as flat as you can as you work your way through. Once she's cinched up, you're good to go. So in Austin, we're gonna have this patient tie in system on every aerial apparatus. The rescues have been running them for about a year with great success. Uh, you'll see in the CMC version of the how to package video that there's also a pelvic harness that comes with it. Uh, the rescues have those in case you need to go vertical or you can tie foot loops with a piece of webbing. Uh, otherwise, uh, this system is intended for horizontal movement. So if you're going to big wheel somebody out, if you're going to use the litter to carry out of a construction site, if you're going to use an aerial platform to bring somebody from an elevated surface, uh, this is a good system to lash somebody down into uh, into the basket. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, I want you to scoot in here. I want you to look at this buckle right here. Uh, as you do your inspections, uh, both before use and in your weekly big truck checks, you want to make sure that these buckles right here are doubled back. So you can see that uh, the webbing is fed through the buckle and then back on top of itself. Uh, you want to make sure that each buckle is double back. <coughs> that uh, keeps the webbing from sliding back through the buckle. Uh, as you're doing your inspection, you want to look for any fraying that uh, may be uh, coming to the webbing or in particular the stitching and then discoloration. We anticipate that as these sit on trucks for a long period of time, we will be seeing some discoloration, uh, but when it becomes excessive, we'll just replace the system. Uh, last is how to clean it. Uh, so uh, no doubt at some point we're going to spooge one of these up pretty good. It's going to have some nasty stuff on it. Uh, if soap and water gets the job done and you feel good about it, that's great. Uh, if you're worried about a biological contaminant, then you want to use a 10% bleach solution. Soak it in 10% bleach solution and then rinse it really, really well to try to rinse all the bleach out. Uh, it may discolor the webbing a little bit, but it doesn't affect its life safety application. Uh, so that's our new patient time system.